10 Chinese Projects in Africa That Shocked USA China has been heavily investing in Africa in recent years through a variety of infrastructure and development projects. These projects range from building roads, railways, and ports to constructing power plants and telecommunications networks. Some of the most notable projects include the construction of the Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway in Kenya, the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway in Ethiopia, and the Port of Luma in Kenya. These projects are part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, a global infrastructure development strategy adopted by the Chinese government in 2013 to invest in and build infrastructure in countries along the historic Silk Road trade routes. These projects in Africa also aims to strengthen economic ties between China and African countries, as well as gain access to Africa's natural resources, such as oil and minerals. Hello there! Before we begin, please make sure to like this video and comment on it so that our channel can grow and we will be able to produce more great content for you. 10. The South Sudan Ethiopia Oil Pipeline this is a 1,000-kilometer pipeline that will transport South Sudanese oil to Ethiopia for export. The project is being developed with funding from the Chinese government, and it is expected to greatly boost the economic development of South Sudan. The pipeline would run along a yet undetermined route from Sudan to Ethiopia, with a branch possibly also running to South Sudan. The construction cost is budgeted at $1.7 billion. The pipeline would carry up to 120,000 barrels of crude oil per day. 9. The Tanzania-Kenya Power Interconnector This is a 1,045-kilometer power transmission line that connects Tanzania and Kenya. The project is being developed with funding from the Chinese government, and it is expected to greatly improve the power supply in both countries. The Kenya-Tanzania Interconnection Project will involve the construction of a total of 507.5 km of 400 kV high-voltage alternative current HVVAC, transmission line in double circuit from Izania substation in Kenya to Singida substation in Tanzania. 93.1 km of the line is in Kenya and 414.5 km in Tanzania. Overall, the ZTK project is estimated to cost $1.4 billion. 8. The Port of Walvis Bay This new port is located in Namibia. It is being developed with funding from the Chinese government, and it is expected to greatly boost the economic development of the region. The Port Walvis Bay is Namibia's largest commercial port, receiving approximately 3,000 vessel calls each year and handling about 5 million tons of cargo. The port of Walvis Bay is a secure, efficient, and world-class port. The estimated costs of this project is 14.2 billion US dollars. 7. The Tanzania-Zambia Railway The Tazara Railway, also called the Uluru Railway or the Tanzan Railway, is a railway in East Africa linking the port of Dar es Salaam in East Tanzania with the town of Kapiri Poshi in Zambia's central province. This railway project is a 1,860 kilometer railway that connects Tanzania and Zambia. The railway is being built with funding from the Chinese government and it is expected to greatly improve transportation and trade between Tanzania and Zambia. The single-track railway is long and is operated by the Tanzania-Zambia Railway Authority. 6. The Angola-Zambia Railway This railway project is a 1,344-kilometer railway that connects Angola and Zambia. The railway is being built with funding from the Chinese government, and it is expected to greatly improve transportation and trade between Angola and Zambia. Apart from boosting the resurgent copper mining industry on the Zambian copper belt, the Bengala Railway route will not only transport metal exports to Europe and North American customers, but will also serve as a major step in the regional integration program under SADC. 5. The Lapset Corridor The Lapset Corridor program is Eastern Africa's largest and most ambitious infrastructure project bringing together Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. 
This is a large infrastructure project that includes a railway, oil pipeline, and highway in Kenya. The project is being developed with funding from the Chinese government and is expected to greatly improve transportation and trade within Kenya and between Kenya and its neighboring countries. This project will cost $25 billion. 4. The Port of Lamu This new port is located in the Kenyan coastal town of Lamu, and it is being developed with funding from the Chinese government. This port is located at the southern corner of the Lamu Archipelago on Kenya's coast. Once completed, the port will be a major gateway for trade in East Africa, and it is expected to greatly boost the economic development of the region. Lamu Port, South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor Project, also known as Lamu Corridor, is a transport and infrastructure project in Kenya that, when complete, will be the country's second transport corridor. 3. The Addis Ababa Adama Expressway This is a 120-kilometer expressway that connects the capital city of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, to the city of Adama. The expressway was built with funding from the Chinese government, and it was opened to the public in 2016. It is designed to improve transportation and reduce travel time between the two cities. It is the first expressway in Ethiopia. The road was built between 2010 and 2014 by the Chinese government. 2. The Mombasa-Nairobi Railway This is a standard gauge railway, SGR, in Kenya, which is 480 km long and is built by China Road and Bridge Corporation, CRBC, and it was opened to the public in May 2017. The railway connects the port city of Mombasa to the capital city of Nairobi, and it is designed to improve transportation and trade within Kenya and between Kenya and its neighboring countries. This SGR runs parallel to the narrow-gauge Uganda railway that was completed in 1901 under British colonial rule. At a cost of 3.6 billion US dollars, the SGR was among Kenya's most expensive infrastructure projects as at the time it was launched. 1. The Ethiopia-Djibouti Railway This railway project, also known as the Ethio-Djibouti Railway, is a 756-kilometer electrified railway that connects the capital city of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, to the port city of Djibouti. It was built with funding from the Chinese government and was opened in January 2018. The railway is designed to improve transportation and trade between Ethiopia and Djibouti, and it is expected to greatly reduce the cost and time of transporting goods between the two countries. Chinese projects in Africa have had a significant impact on the continent, particularly in terms of improving transportation, trade, and economic development. Many of the projects have been built with funding from the Chinese government and have been designed to connect African countries and boost economic growth. Chinese investment in Africa is still ongoing, and it is expected to continue making positive contributions in Africa. Thanks for watching. By the way, also tell us of other major projects that we have not included in the video. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more great content.